Today, RCMP Commissioner Bob Paulson released a portion of the video selfie recorded by the terrorist who murdered Corporal Nathan Cirillo and attacked Parliament Hill last October. People have been clamoring for this video to be released, and we'll show it to you in a minute. And it's obvious why. We want to hear the terrorist in his own words to try and understand. But others have suggested that the RCMP wasn't releasing it because maybe he wasn't really a terrorist. There are all these conspiracy theories, and I think releasing that video put it to rest. Bob Paulson introduced the video by saying that the terrorist, Michael Zahaf Bibo, was sober. He was uh, articulate, he, and what he did was clearly an act of terrorism. Paulson said that had the terrorists survived, he surely would have been charged with terrorism, and in a moment you'll see why. Now, Paulson did say that portions of the video were redacted, that is, they were not released for investigative purposes. That is, the investigation continues, and had all of the video been released, it would compromise that. That's the reason the video was uh, delayed until today. Now, I want to show you the video, but I want you to notice one thing. Michael Zahafibo was born in Canada. He had a Libyan father, Quebecois mother. He was born in Canada, and yet he does not refer to Canada as his. He says it's your lands. And although his father was Libyan, he refers to Afghanistan and Iraq as our places. So he does not even consider Canada to be his country. He mentions Allah, the Arabic name for the Muslim God, and he says he wants religious law or Sharia law to carry the day in Canada. Here's Michael Zahaf Bebo with his video commentary before he went on to terrorist murder. Oh, to those who are involved in listening to this movie, this is in retaliation for Afghanistan and because Harper wants to send tra troops to Iraq. So we are retaliating the Mujahideen of this world. Canada has officially become one of our enemies by fighting and bombing us and creating a lot of terror in our countries and killing us and killing our innocents. So just aiming to hit some soldiers just to show you that you're not even safe in your own land. But you got to be careful. So may Allah accept from us. It's a disgrace you guys have forgotten God and have you let every indecency and things run in your land. We don't, we don't go for this. We are good people, righteous people, believers of God, and believe in His laws and His prophets, peace be upon them all. So that's my message to all of you, and this, inshallah, will not cease till you guys decide to be a peaceful country and stay to your own, and not and stop going to other countries, and stop occupying and killing the righteous of us who are trying to bring back religious law in our countries. Thank you. That's Michael Zahaf Bebo recording a conversation on his cell phone from his car moments before going to commit murder. For a man who's about to commit a terrorist act, I thought he was calm and considered, not crazy or drunk or on drugs, as others have tried to say. Why did they try to downplay it? What is the power of this video? It shows that those who instantly say, oh, it's just a lone wolf, just a crazy person, oh, he was on drugs, didn't you know? Anyone who tries to deracinate the nature of this terrorist was proved false today. He did so in the name of Islam. He did so in the name of supporting the Islamic State and the Taliban. And he committed murder not out of an irrational craziness, but out of a belief in the jihad. I'm Ezra Levant for the Rebel.media.